What's up, babes? It's Curly's and Victoria back with another video. If you guys are new here, I welcome to my channel. If you already been subscribed, well, thanks for coming back. So this is going to be my 2022 lock recap of my hair. If you guys have been following me, then you know, you absolutely freaking know that my hair has grown so much this year. In fact, I'm actually gonna put a collage together and I'm not gonna use the one that I used before. I'm gonna put a collage together that's gonna show you like a photo from the uh, month of January and a photo from the month of December. Should I, do, should I do like every four months or should I just do, I'm trying to see if I should do one picture and second, I might do just two, two photos side by side and show y'all how far my hair has come in a given year. So this is what my hair looks like. I have on black right now and I have my hair in a half up, half down. And I'm just gonna try to show y'all what it looked like from the side. Like I know you can't really see it as well because I have on black, but. Yes, I have on a bra. This is the top of my bra. My hair is at the bra, bra length, okay. So it's pretty much sitting at the bra. Y'all, my hair, let me do that again just for the people in the back. Let me look straight ahead and then show y'all what we're looking at. That is my hair for this year. My hair has really really taken off so it's a it's like 15 minutes before six o'clock in the evening which means that we are six hours away from jumping into the new year now for me this year i'm not going out i'm not doing none of that i'm gonna be in the house and when it turns january 1st your girl is gonna be in the house okay now let me tell you something what's gonna be sweet about january 1st as well Y'all know that technically I hit three and a half years on January 1st with my locks. So it's like, yes, it's the beginning of the year. Yes, new goals, new new mottos, new all it is. But baby, can we talk about, can we please just talk about the simple fact that your girl's hair is about to be three and a half years. So this video specifically is not about the three and a half years. It's not about wash day. It's not about any of that. It's literally about the successes and the failures that I've had on my lock journey this year, what what I feel like I've gained and things like that. So we're gonna start right there. First things first, I feel as though I had more of a successful year with my locks than not. I really don't even have anything bad to say about my locks. You know how people are like, oh, I could have did this, I could have did this. I could have had longer hair. I could have had a better routine. I could have. I don't even have anything to say. I think I did an amazing job with the upkeep of my hair. Hold on. Anyway, um, I don't have anything to say about my hair as far as like I could have did better. I didn't do too well. No, baby, I did excellently. Okay. If you thought I was going to negatively criticize myself, you thought wrong, baby, because I don't have nothing bad to say about what I did with my hair this year. As you guys can see, I've got big results, big results. I went to Marshall's the other day, and since we're talking about it, I'm gonna talk to y'all now and show y'all. So first I have like a complete aloe leaf, like a complete aloe leaf that I need to cut up and that I need to use. I'm gonna cut some up, I'm gonna use some for a face wash routine. I'm gonna cut some up, I'm gonna use some for my hair wash routine. Either my hair wash routine or my retwist routine, I haven't decided yet for that one, but. I picked up the Korean aloe that I like to use to retwist my hair. Get you some. Normally I get it in a jar, but they just so happen to have it like this, which I don't even mind the like squirt, you know, that type of vibe. But 
yeah so i picked this up for 4.99 at marshall's like i said it is korean and something about that korean aloe for my face something about the korean aloe for my hair it just does something and people are like well duh you can just use aloe no i know that we have regular aloe i'm not saying there's anything that gives regular aloe but there's something about that korean aloe it's doing something for my hair like really doing something Anyway, um, this is literally, my hair has been thriving. And let me tell you some of the key factors that I believe contributed to the healthy hair. Number one, I have a routine. Y'all know I always talk about a routine. I have a legit routine that seems to work. I utilize my routine. Bricks, I hope you playing with your toy and not tearing nothing up. I have a heck of a routine, not super extensive, but I have a routine, a weekly routine with my hair between oils, wash, retwist, and just like styling my hair, there's a routine with it all. So that's the first thing. Second thing is supplements and water. So take your probiotics, take your multivitamins, take all those things, okay? The next thing that I'm gonna say that I actually contributed heavily to my hair is I have not bleached my hair since I have been on this quest. I bleached my hair to start the locks and when I did that, I kept my hair bleach black and the only time my hair went from, uh, I mean bleach blonde, and then when I dyed my hair jet black from the bleach blonde, I just never went back. So I've been dark hair three years um going on three and a half years i just been rocking this shit black so like i said i started this set of locks with bleach blonde hair so i basically bleached my hair blonde and then i started my locks you guys know that i've done my own hair and i do my own hair so then i jumped right into you know rocking the starter locks with bleach blonde once i got to the place where i felt like i can retwist my hair and uh, not retwist my hair when i got to the place where i felt like i could wash my hair and it wasn't gonna unravel that's when i dyed my hair black and ever since then i've stayed jet black so it's been coming through for your girl so yeah i color my hair jet black but i do not bleach my hair and i'm not saying that i never will bleach my hair again in my life but i'm saying i have not been bleaching my hair and that has probably constituted very heavily to the health of my hair as well as the growth I feel like once you're bleaching your hair and you're playing in those colors, your hair is becoming brittle, it's breaking, you're having to constantly keep trying to, um, you know, basically like you're trying to just nurse it back to health. You continue to keep just doing what you can to regrow in your hair. So by not doing it, it's just like that's a whole road that I didn't have to go down. Another thing is I eat healthy, like I said. Also, like I said, rinsing my hair, washing my hair. I don't tie my hair up every night. And I know some people will be like, girl, you a black girl, you don't tie your hair up every night. I don't. I sleep on a satin pillowcase and a lot of times it's the same thing as me sleeping on a, in a scarf. And if my hair is not styled, then there's not really a big deal. And even when my hair is styled, sometimes I still don't put the hair, to the scarf on. There's nights I do put on a scarf, a bonnet, or whatever, and I sleep on my satin pillowcase, but do I have to do those things? No. Um, I don't have to because my hair is already on satin by sleeping on silk pillowcases. Um, I normally don't sleep in hair ties. I don't. So even the hair ties I have now, they're just like very stretchy. They're not the type that rip your hair. They're, they're not made to rip your hair. So... Yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. So I don't think I have anything negative to say about how I maintained and took care of my hair this year. I think I did a really good job and literally the results are right here in front of y'all. I don't have to make up anything because you guys can literally see it with your eyes. You can see it with your eyes that my hair is just 
super healthy and I get asked all the time, like, who does your hair or I get asked, is that your real hair? It's my real hair. I don't have no false hair. All of this that y'all see is my real hair. Yeah. Big energy. Real hair, real inches. And like I said, it all results from a routine. Like when you have a healthy, positive routine, your hair is gonna grow. You know how many people I just keep getting, keep being like, girl, your hair is so healthy. Girl, your hair is so pretty. Girl, who does your hair? And it's just like, listen, I couldn't agree more. Humbly, I couldn't agree more. But my hair is super healthy and I do pride myself on that because I know I take care of my hair. So yeah, you can't be wanting healthy hair and long luscious locks or even loose natural curls or just loose natural hair and you don't do nothing to, to, to get those results. So literally like, had longer hair when I was younger too so I know I have the ability to grow it if it's taken care of as do we all we all have the ability to grow long hair if we take care of it so I think right now I don't think this is my hair has been long before as a loose natural but I definitely think when we get into this new year I'm going to surpass the longest length that I've rocked my hair as a grown-up I'm not saying as a child I'm talking about as an adult so like you guys can see, like I said, it's at my bra. I've had hair that loose after hair that got very much so like long like this. But now, after this year, after this upcoming year, going into 2024, we're going to 2023 right now. But I'm saying going into 2024, so a year from now, girl, my hair about to be popping, popping. And I do think I'm going to reach way longer than what I've reached as an adult, as I said. Right now, like every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, who do you think you are? Like, who is this? It's, it just feels so weird. It seems like every time I'm waking up, like I've hit a growth spurt with my hair. And it's just like, it's unreal. And it's me in my body saying this. So can you imagine the people who are not in my body who be saying the same thing? But girl, your hair really just took a leap. So yeah, that's just me letting y'all know. Your girl hair is heron, okay? Period. Y'all know it was on my goals the whole year to go into the new year with longer hair, healthier skin, you know, back on my routines. And I'm not gonna lie to you. These last couple of days, I've been pulling my weight as far as my routines. Like today, I woke my butt up early. I packed up stuff for the good. Well, I packed up stuff for Plato's closet. I literally took five trash bags to the trash can. I normally don't even take that many trash bags at once. But like when I tell y'all, I said I was doing what I'm doing. And I know y'all like, girl, how much stuff you got? Well, one trash bag was in the kitchen from when I did that kitchen clear out. The second trash bag was the pots and pans that I said I wasn't keeping that were in the kitchen as well. That was a separate trash bag, so that was two trash bags. The third one was in the bathroom. So anything that I felt like needed to be trashed from the bathroom or even things that were trashed from the room that went into that bag. The fourth trash bag, literally when Bricks made a mess in the house and I had to clean up all the stuff he made a mess with and then um, clean up his waste. And then I also had to, um, like I went through like a lot of papers, like just no cards, anything just on the floor that I didn't need, old mail, stuff like that. And I put that in that trash bag. And then the fifth trash bag was just like the broken mirror that I had broken in the house, in the calendar. Well, bricks broke the mirror, well, chewed up the mirror, the side of the mirror. And then the I stepped on the glass calendar that broke. So instead of just throwing those away by themselves, I put them in a the bag. So that's where the five trash bags came. But I took five trash bags worth of trash to the trash, and it was raining today, but I didn't care because I said I had goals. I took all of the stuff I didn't want no more, like artificial plants and stuff like that, clothing, shoes, things like that, to Goodwill. And then I also took some stuff to the Salvation, or not the Salvation, to Plato's Closet. So when I tell you, your girl was bag on bag on bag on bag. I had, like I got to the Goodwill to give stuff away, and the guy was like, oh, mama, you got so much. And I'm just like... When God blesses you with much, you have to give. And I've always been like that since I was little. It's like, 
I always had a spirit of giving. I always want to give back. Like that's just been a part of who I am and I still do it as an adult. Like, yeah, I can have all this stuff and I don't think that I'm hoarding it because a lot of the stuff that I actually sent off, I wear. But it's just like there's somebody out there who can appreciate it. Um, at least I know I'm donating to good causes. So that was that. But I took all of them bags. I would say between the Goodwill, Plato's Closet, and the trash, I had about 10 bags. My neighbors were looking at me. One of my neighbors was looking at me like, she didn't say nothing though. And then my other neighbor, he, he got home and he saw me throwing all them trash bags away. And I know he like, dang, is she about to move? Like, why she got all this trash? But like I said, I'm probably still going to make one more Goodwill run and maybe even a Play-Doh's run. It depends. But definitely, I'm probably going to make one more Goodwill run. Not tomorrow because it's the first, but probably Monday. And... Yeah, so right now everything that I'm about to gather up is going to be stuff that's going to the Goodwill Monday. Not today, but Monday. And then um, it's nice It's nice that um, some places will probably be closed on Monday in observance of the second day of the holiday. But I'm just glad that the majority of things are going to be open as normal because it won't be New Year's Day. I picked up some ramen noodle, like healthy noodles from the store today, y'all. And I know this video is going on a little tangent, but I picked that up for tomorrow because I don't have time to be out there fighting with traffic or with places being closed. So that's that. Really, I want to drink water and coffee tomorrow. I might drink coffee in a little bit because I haven't had my coffee for the day. Sorry, y'all. But yeah, I was so productive today. And I'm not even thinking about it is your girl ain't even done being productive. That's the thing. Not even done. Not even done. Um, but yeah. So, like I said, I'm going to just keep going through stuff. And yeah, I haven't taken a shower. Like, I just been cleaning, cleaning, and I kept saying, I want to take a shower just to kind of zen down. I'm not taking a bath. I'm not taking a bath because my, my tub needs to be scrubbed, and I'm not doing that now. Bricks needs a bath. I was going to give him a bath tonight, but it don't look like it's going to happen. I think I'm going to keep cleaning up, and I'm going to give him a bath tomorrow. And then I'm going to roll up the rug that I have in the living room, and that's going to be going to the Goodwill or the junk removal is going to be going to somebody. That's what I forgot. All that stuff that was on the... I'm going to take that to the real world tomorrow too then. I mean Monday. Yeah, I think I'm going to make another good world trip. Now that I think about it because I just realized that there's some stuff that was supposed to go that I left in the house. I won't say that I was completely rushing. I just feel like I had a lot that I had to do. But at least one trip to the good world did it for me. So... The good thing about it is my house is actually getting packed up slash cleaned up slash gut rolled out. So I'm feeling real pumped, real good about my progress. But I know this just went from a hair video to a life update real quick. So I'll just make sure I put that in the caption so y'all don't come for me. But make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video of your girl's long, luscious locks. Make sure y'all tap in for the videos that are going to come in 2022 or 2023. And make sure if you are not already subscribed by 2023, smash the subscribe button, join the fam, and let's get into it. I'll see y'all in the next video.